Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekend reading with this Oracle deck. So we're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you, so keep that in mind. And also, the timing is fluid. This is just the energy I'm picking up on right now. Um, let's see what comes up. Now these are this is an oracle deck, so they will not come out reversed. If they do, I'm gonna I'm gonna make them upright because it's an oracle deck. But we all know this deck gives some pretty fantastic messages, right? This this is probably gonna resonate with the people that you know watch me regularly and um, comment a lot, you know, and and really send me their energy, you know they. That's who I think that I connect with. I mean, I could be wrong. I know that I connect with some new people too. Um, but I, I really believe that people, you know, the people that like and comment are the ones that send me their energy. That's, that's how I feel, but you never know. Obviously, you know, I started out somewhere, so I connect with other people too. Oh, I'm going to have to put that on pause, but I'll do that in a minute. What do we got for the next few days? I put that on pause. You know, you know this 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 Pisces new moon is is pretty uh, potent, isn't it? It is. It is. So a lot of us are going through a very emotional, intense time, okay? Pisces is very emotional. A lot of times they hide their, their emotions, but this may be a time where it's really time to heal, you know? You can't hide them anymore. You can't hide those emotions. They're here to be dealt with. So, um, you know, I feel like a lot of us are being divinely guided to do some cleansing. We're being divinely guided to, you know, bring balance and harmony back to our lives. It's time to heal from those uh, past hurts. It's time to release those that pain that we have um, held on to. A lot of us have been staying in an illusionary state of mind because that's what uh, this Pisces full moon or new moon is is uh, that's the energies okay Pisces is you know they do have a trait of escapism and uh, illusions and confusion and you know we all have Pisces in our chart we do so nobody is immune nobody is immune it's 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 really a time to heal and and Pisces is also um, I can't think of the word has to do with the past quite a bit it's time to heal the past hurts no longer live in the illusion the fantasy that we have held on to that's what this is about. And, and, and a lot of us are needing to do this in solitude, in silence, right? I don't know why I'm flipping. I'm so used to flipping. That's how I get my reversals. I flip the cards to get reversals. Patience. Patience. Divine timing. You know, and you think, I mean, sevens are about... Seven is a number for heaven. From heaven, we have seven here, seven here. Divine, divine timing. The time, the time is now to deal, to deal with all the illusions that you have held on to, right? I mean, it is. Now, the patience. If you think about this card, this this is um, when you see patience. I mean, this this resembles the temperance card even though it's not a 14 it's a 16 um, temperance is about timing 
It's about balance. It's about harmony. It's about patience. It's about transition. And it is about divine timing as well. So I feel like all things happen in good time. But right now, the time is to be patient with yourself, to work on yourself, to allow yourself all the time you need to heal. Let your friends help you. Another seven. Another seven. Seven, seven, seven. So definitely we are being divinely guided to work on ourselves to walk away from anything and everything that doesn't serve us even if we don't have closure nines are about closure here we have nine okay nines are about closure so it's time for us to bring closure to all the past illusions all the past hurts all the past uh, blockages that we have buried inside of us that we've had tried to escape the pain okay we've tried to escape right it's time to bring that harmony and peace and balance back to our lives so that's what's going on here it's about walking away from anything and everything that does not serve us let your friends help you this is a card of community get out there you know do whatever you gotta do if you need support go go get it go find some support let your friends help you maybe one of your friends needs your support because they're going through a he healing period some of you may have set intentions with this new moon or the last new moon or the one before that this this card says all in good time all in good time for your intentions to manifest you truly have to walk away from your illusions you always got to see what's mirroring each other and then you got to have patience you got to have patience and wait wait for the divine to work okay oh, I'm so used to the thinking man Gotta love that thinking man, don't we? Door to personal healing and happiness right under this moon. This is just gonna clarify what, everything I've said and I can see that's what's gonna happen as it usually does. This is what's happening. The door is opening to heal. That's what this weekend is about. It's about healing. It's opening. The door is, remember I said peace, rainbows are a... a a signifier of peace birds are a signifier of freedom it's time to break free of the old inhibitions that we have held on to that's what this is about it's time for your healing it's time for your happiness it's time to uh, another seven <laughs> wow it's time to have faith have faith that what is meant to be will be and what isn't meant to be isn't meant to be. Have faith. It's like let go and let God. Divine. Seven is a number from heaven. Let go and let God. Fifth chakra. Archangel Gabriel. Now this equals... A 12 which equals a 3 this is your prayers are being heard they're being heard this is also a card of communication it's a card of truth I speak the truth be patient the truth is always going to come out but you have to Accept the truth as well. Magician in the mirror. Now, this is about this is about manifestation. Your prayers are being heard. Keep manifesting. You set your intentions. They're happening. Don't give up. All in good time. It's happening. You have the power to manifest anything and everything. But if you think about the magician in the traditional tarot, the magician has to shed the old to bring in the new. That's the way it goes. Underneath walking away. The time is now. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. It's time to walk in a new direction. That's what this is about. Oh, woman holding coin. This is abundance. You will receive an abundant offer at the end of this. But you got to have faith and you got to be patient. You got to take that journey. You got to take the journey to balance and harmony by walking away from your illusions and your fears and your confusion. Okay? So let's see what we got here. We do have we do have a a man that is thinking about all that he has to offer. He's thinking about his own happiness. He's thinking about what is going to bring balance and harmony to his life. He's thinking about starting over in a new direction. He's thinking about a fresh start. He may be thinking about this woman right here. Maybe, and, and it's like there's a distance between them because there's healing that is needed for these two people to come together. Period. That's why there's such a distance. Somebody has to use all the resources within them to walk away from what doesn't serve them and not live in fantasy land. And somebody has been staying in a place of illusion. When, it, when it's time to really heal, it's time to bring peace and harmony back. It's time to be honest. It's time to be truthful. I really feel like we, and it's funny, I had a massage today. An hour and a half, because that's the way it is for me. Anyway, when I'm having my massage, I, I, I literally like go into a meditative state, you know, and I see purple and then I see visions and all kinds of things. And I saw a man, I didn't know who this man was. I saw a man and, and I, and I remember when I woke up, I was, I was kind of awake because when you're in a meditative state, you're kind of awake, but different. And, um, I saw this man and, and I can hardly barely remember it now, but I said, there's a man making a decision. When I woke up and I got to my car, it was still fresh in my mind by the time I got to my car. I said, there's a man making a decision. Uh, whoever this man was, he had dark hair. He, I did see dark hair. So there's a man making a decision right now. And it's like he is, uh, he's watching and he's investigating. He's like he's watching and he's investigating. So I don't know who this man is for, if it's for me or if it's for one of my clients or you or who it is. But I, I saw the dark hair and um, And he was looking and he was making a decision. And when I got to my car, I got in my car and I said to myself, I said, there's a, I said, I think I said it out loud. There's a man making a decision. So there is a man in the process of making a decision as to what is going to help him heal. Period. And he's wondering if he has enough to offer. Okay. And, you know, he may be coming in to communicate. Because this is, this is a card of communication. And you are being called to be patient. Don't give up. They've heard your prayers. They've heard your prayers. But you do have to walk away from things that don't serve you. You do. This card wouldn't be here otherwise. Now, he could be watching you on social media. Community, this is social. This could be a social media connection. Um, we have this. We have this person down here who has something really big to offer. This is this is the Queen of Pentacles. It is. This is the Queen of Pentacles right here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be any other woman, but this woman is abundant. She's abundant. She is very capable. She's beautiful. She's comfortable. She takes pride in who she is and what she has. She takes care of business. She takes care of things. She is a hard worker. She's balanced. She's a lot to offer and she knows it. 
and she doesn't settle because she knows what she's worth. She values herself. So we have a woman down here that is very valuable, and I think that we have a man or a masculine that sees this woman's value and he may wonder if he has enough to offer and so he's he's probably wa watching he's watching um and communication may come but you got to see patience is right underneath that communication you've got to be patient now this is divine timing you have to be patient it will happen when the time is right when you have proven okay that you have let go that you have walked away and you have let go. You have released. You have shed. You have shed your old ways. Um, as above, so below. What you wish, they hear your prayers. Do you hear me? That's what I'm trying to say. Be patient. Keep working, keep healing. Somebody's coming. Don't give up. That's what I have. 